Push up. I want to ask you a question. Do you know the repercussions of your actions? And do you feel any guilt whatsoever? You do realize if I didn't ask you if you were still going to the meetup, then Lithium and his family would have worked in about 3am and travelled across the city just to meet you and pick you up. You stood them up completely and didn't even bother telling him or me that you weren't going. You were so antisocial and so bad at communication that you thought mentioning to us once that it would be hard for you to go meant that we understood that you weren't going. Lithium and I have been kind to you since the start, despite most of the other members of the group disapproving of you. We blew off so many red flags and warnings from our peers just as we thought you were a troubled guy who always had good intentions. However, it seems that was just a lie. I'm aware your life is completely bland and boring. You play Fortnite and talk to magic, a grown man in another state. To be honest, I don't know which of you two should be more ashamed. However, the difference between magic and you is that magic acts like a normal human and isn't selfish, antisocial, and just a human speed bump. But do you want to know one of the things that pisses me off the most? The fact that after ignoring Lithium and I's DMs for days, you respond with some dumb shit. We were trying to communicate to you and find out details about if you were even coming to the meetup, despite all you said and claimed. Instead of apologizing or showing any remorse for anything you did, you respond with, Shh, I'm talking to magic. You have no dignity, do you? You couldn't even say sorry for causing all the shit you caused. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but I've gone into arguments with close friends at IRL because of you. If any of my IRL friends are watching this, I'm sorry for choosing this Chuck E. Cheese pizza freak over you guys. You have in turn messed with my IRL life and made me lose relationships with close friends. You made Lithium cancel his plans IRL to let your 500 pounds Oompa Loompa ass stay at his home. Lithium was willing to give you a shelter, provide you with all the necessary shit you need to live out of sympathy and you return the favour to him by one, not informing him about anything, two, almost making him waste gas money to travel around the state and three, by continuing to lie and not give him the money, your sorry ass owes him. I know YouTubers don't usually say this, but I want all of you to unsubscribe and block this freak. Every forum member hates him except for his father figure magic. And one of the most sad things about this O-Shop is when Lithium contacted your best friend DJ and asked if you were still in Sydney. DJ said that he hadn't talked to you in weeks. Your own IRL connections are so weak that Lithium and I are pretty much your best online friends. You've lost us now, so I wonder who's going to fill the void we left. Probably Magic, because he's the only one you got left. Let's all get this guy out of our head, because if I could go back in time, I'd wish I never met this monster. Sorry about that sentimental shit, guys. I wrote some notes, but most of that was purely from the heart. This ain't no fake beef. If there's one guy on earth that I hate the most, it's this guy. Anyways, yeah. I'm sure you guys probably realize that this vlog is a no-show. He didn't show up to the meetup and didn't even give us a proper explanation. Let me quickly break down the original plan. Osha was meant to fly to my state and land on the 15th of December. He was to stay at Lithium's house, offered by Lithium, during the duration of Osha's stay. Lithium even offered to pick you up, but then, out of the blue and with no warning, you proceed to cancel your plane ticket and say you're not showing up. It's obvious your unfit, weak ass was scared and not ready to get dropped by me. With some convincing, Lithium and I made you buy a train ticket instead. However, this is when the story gets weird. You say you didn't get your money back from the plane company, which is straight up illegal. So it's obvious you were probably lying about buying the plane tickets in the first place. And then apparently you don't have enough money to pay us or go on the train. And then the next day, you went to work, got enough money, and then because you're dumb as fuck, you buy a crap ton of soft drink and snacks. The next day, the train tickets supposedly go up in prices, again, and after months and months of planning, the trip is almost cancelled until you say you booked your tickets. Around two days later, I message you to confirm you're still going and you say that you're unsure if you're going. And then guess what? Later I DM you and you say you're not going. With no warning. With no nothing. If I didn't DM you, we would have never knew that. You would have just not showed up and left him in his parents would have woke up at 3am to pick you up and you just no show. Yeah, you just wouldn't have been there. You pussy out of the fighting me and lied to myself, left him and the whole world. I hope you realize you're a terrible person, Osha, and you burn bridges with everyone we know. Alright, now I know you guys are probably wanting the total amount he's in debt by and owes us, so I'm going to do the math and calculate it. The first video of mine gained over 400 views and got 100 client downloads. That means $20 just for the views, $50 for the downloads, because 50 cents times 100 downloads is $50, and I got $30 for promoting the client in general paid by Osha. If you're doing the math correct, this is $100 just off the first video. If you're wondering how I got this information, it's just the document that we're given to the sponsorships of MML Client. So yeah, the people who did the sponsorships, so me, Lithium, etc. Now onto the MML Plus scams, aka Crafty and Swifty. As you all know, Crafty and Swifty have been scammed. Crafty has sent me proof of 6 payments, a $23 payment, 2 $12.50 payments, a $10 payment, and 2 $5 payments. Swifty has not informed me on how much he's been taking out of his account, but Proshim himself has admitted to me that Swifty has signed up for MML Plus and is therefore a victim. 
I'm doing to assume Swifty has been charged a similar amount as Crafty. In total, this is $68 taken away from Crafty, and I'll double that for Swifty and said that Pressure is in debt by another $136 because of a scam client MMO. This should be giving Swifty the benefit of the doubt or being generous towards Persia, but either way, that is the estimate. I'd also like to point out that Crafty would have kept being scammed and charged by Persia if Crafty's charge did not run out of money. Persia, you're a sick guy. Next up is Lithium, one of my best friends and another victim of the client. Lithium also did an LML sponsorship video and said his was a stream. The same rules apply to him as they do to me. Lithium's video got around 450 views. He almost got the extra money from $15 from Danny if I wanted views, but unfortunately he didn't. Lithium got $20 based on views, and Lithium has informed me that he got around 60 downloads off his promotion. In total, this is $50 off views and downloads. I believe there was also a further negotiation with Prussia between Lithium and Osha, which led to Lithium getting $100 instead. So that's $100 that is owed to Lithium. And finally, my second sponsorship video. Now for the biggest amount of money Prussia is in debt by, my second promotion video. The basketball match between myself and Lithium against Hurricane, Bond, and Witherman. If you guys can remember, this video had a sponsorship segment. Now, based off the document, I can tell you guys the amount he owes me is ridiculous. The video got over a thousand views, which is equal to fifty dollars. And if you remember, I said in total over two hundred and fifty people downloaded this client. I said the first video got hundred downloads, thus this one got one hundred and fifty downloads. Fifty cents times one hundred and fifty is seventy-five dollars. In total, that is one hundred and twenty-five dollars. But wait, there's more. Because our payments have been so late, and we have been pressuring Oshop. He agreed to double mine and Lithium's earnings, which means Proshop owes Lithium alone $200, and he owes me, get ready for this, this is actually going to shock you, I just did the math right now, and it's, it's out of this fucking world. He owes me, <laughs> as well as this, there had been a side bet between me and Oshop. This was, if I could get Proshop to beat Bond and subs, he'd give me $50. So in total, Proshop is in debt by $886. Holy fuck, this man's actually going to be broke, bro. To conclude on this whole thing, Oshop, I have no script, no nothing here right now. I'm just going to be brutally honest. I really did think we were close friends, man. I saw you as a good friend, probably top three friends, like, including IRL, honestly. But you broke all my trust. You betrayed me. You made me do stupid things that I should have never done. I ruined IRL friendships just for you. You scammed myself, Lithium, and a bunch of others. You cowered out of a fight, and you're just a terrible person. I don't know if you can ever redeem yourself in the eyes of myself and Lithium. I just just pay us back. Show up to the next, show up to the fight if you can, organize it, and I'm gonna knock you out, man. If I, if, this is all just, oh, shut up. I don't know why I had to do this, man. I, I just wish I recognized the red flags earlier in our friendship, but I'm glad it happened sooner rather than later. Thank you guys for watching.